I'm gonna try recording this intro again. How's it going everybody? My name is Sai and today we are checking out Era's new single, The Visionary. This is gonna be the third single that I have checked from them this year. Uh, I shouldn't say this year. This year and last. We're just gonna kinda pretend last year didn't happen. Refresh. Everything was 2021. Moving forward. Um, it's off of their self-titled fifth album, which is great news to me. I'm glad that they are actually turning these singles into an album because so far they have been fuego. They have been so fucking good. I cannot wait to hear more. Um, honestly, I don't have a whole lot more to say. If you want any opinions on New Era and what I think of it, go check out my old reactions or stay tuned because I have no doubts this is going to be fucking good too. Let's check it out. Buzzing. Already with the fucking clean guitar work. Let's go. They're really loving performing in front of screens this time around. I'm liking it. Ooh, got the synth playing. I love that combination there. Man, a high, dude. What are they chanting? What is that chant? Erase, maybe. I see erase the lyrics. It's kind of spitting bars right now. I like it. I like that style. I love this passion so much. This passion is fucking awesome. Yeah. That pre chorus and the chorus are fucking amazing. That's fucking clean sounding. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's those cleans for rooms. Okay, that's the end. All right. That was like a really long intro, outro, not intro, outro. Okay, let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. So that was Era's The Visionary off of uh, their self-titled album, which I'm still looking forward to, but I gotta say, least favorite of the three singles there. However, there are parts of them that I thought were better than all the singles. It's very hit or miss for me. This was a super hit or miss one for me. 
Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, but it was still overall positive. So before you go clicking off or angry comment down below, chill out. It's all right. It's still very positive. Um, so what happened here essentially was we had a really strong start to this song, um, but there was like kind of like iffy bits here and there. Like the kind of early verse is a good. It was good. It was fun. It was a little bit slower in tempo, but I really liked when it started to ramp up tempo and intensity leading up to that huge chorus with those powerful vocals. That shit was fire. That was great. The kind of almost hip hop staccato, the way the guy was screaming, along with the uh, the background synths that were very stripped down kind of synth sound. Uh, very stripped down arpeggiated, like almost retro synth playing. It was a really nice sound to mix in with the guitar work, everything that was going on all very solid and then it, it pittered out to that kind of bridge where it was mostly just bass and as you saw probably on my face i don't hide these things very well i dug that a lot and then after that it kind of just kept going <laughs> it just it just kind of just kept going at kind of that same slow even keel tempo without a whole lot going on um up until the end which it, it definitely it was the like you you go off of a huge ramp on a roller coaster right and then the roller coaster kind of takes its time kind of pittering you around to finally be able to get off like you kind of just sit at the bottom for like a solid minute and a half or so waiting until you can finally exit the building you know that was kind of like that for me it had that kind of vibe um i didn't think it worked totally as well as their other experimental tone shifts but you know what you can't always be a winner and even the that said words performances are still fucking on point drums still crazy bass still crazy guitar still crazy vocals still crazy i just think songwriting structure this one's probably not my favorite in the world it happens i'm still hugely looking forward to this self-titled album and i will be checking it out absolutely no doubt about that uh when does that come out again March 19th, March 19th, so I got plenty of time to prepare, even better. If you like this reaction, please subscribe to me. If you like ERA, please buy their music. I'm going to leave as many links as I can down below. Probably just going to be a direct link to the album, if we're being honest here. Um, yeah, subscribe. I'll be doing the full album over closer and into probably the end of March, judging by the time it comes out and how fast I get these things out. Um, and yeah, you can check for updates on my Twitter or my Discord. And uh, other than that, I think I've rambled enough, stalled enough, so I think I will be done wasting you guys' this time. Thank you so much for watching, and take care. Peace.